welcome back to this room that you have never been to before. I'm Max. I'm every person named Max. Hello. It's all of us. We're all here. We're like Rey or Palpatine or whatever the end of The Rise of Skywalker was about. I am all the Sith. First rule of this room is that the sun is the key light. So if the sun goes out or behind a cloud, I don't know why it would go out. I hope not. Uh, then we won't have any light. Second rule, no more rules. There's no more rules. The only rule is that the sun is my light. Honestly, being named Max is cool. I don't think about it a lot because I'm not like super aware of it. Like it's just a sound people make that gets my attention the easiest. My name pretty much just means like big or, you know, the most, which means that it's used a lot by businesses. And I was gonna make a video about like every single product, corporation, and all those things that like use the name Max. And then I only came up with 11 of them, but also that video wasn't gonna be very exciting. Today, we are going to be ranking characters and people named Max, and uh, we're gonna answer the big, the age-old question, would I beat them in a fight? Have I ever been in a fight before? No. Do I ever wanna be in a fight? No. I feel like I have jurisdiction on this. My name's Max. I can do this. Anyone named Max could do this, but I'm doing it first. All right, as you can see, we have all of these lovely characters named Max, and we are going to have to put them on a scale of whether or not I could beat them up or they could beat me up. And the chances are they're going to be the ones who beat me up because I can't fight for crap. I've never been in a fight. I don't like to fight people. You might wonder why I'm doing this at all. On one end of the scale, we will put the ultimate uh, damage dealt. On this end, we shall have we become friends. Because I don't think I could ever actually win in a fight, honestly. I would not be able to win a fight even if you trained me. I'm not like talking trash about myself. I, even if I was, who, <laughs> what am I gonna do? Fight myself? I just said I can't fight. Uh, you know what? We're gonna start with the, uh, the Rockatanskis. Uh, this is the main character from the Mad Max franchise, as played by Mel Gibson and Tom Hardy. No, he's, he's gonna kick me in the heart real hard. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna take one kick to the heart and I'm gonna die. Yeah, there's no fight. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, this might go really quickly. You know what, let's bring up Max Russo. This is a, the youngest of the Russo siblings from Wizards of Waverly Place. And my first instinct is to say that he's a wizard, and I'm not. So I'm going to say about here. Uh, speaking of Disney characters, this is a person I don't know. Apparently his name is Max uh, Thunderman. I feel like he'd kick me in the heart, but... I feel like it would be funny. Like he would, I, again, speaking as someone who has not watched the Disney Channel show, is it Nickelodeon or Disney? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. You know, if the Thunderman fans wanna, wanna cancel me, go ahead. Uh, I'll just put him there. <laughs> let's, uh, let's change things up. This is, uh, this is my girl Max from Stranger Things. She would kick me in the heart, but also I think we'd become friends. So um, that doesn't mean that I would like win a fight. Man, this is a terrible scale. Oh no, I did not think this through. This is not a good scale. What does this even mean? What am I doing? Why have I chosen to suffer at my own hand? No, nope, it's too late. We gotta keep moving. We'll just become friends. That's... All right, this is Max Headroom. Uh, for those who don't know, he is an 80s AI personality. And that is the extent of my knowledge of him. But I really don't like him. So we definitely wouldn't become friends. But also, he isn't real. Like, he's just a head on a screen. So I feel like that's a fair fight. Uh, I'm going to be honest. I did not see a Goofy movie until, like, a few weeks ago. It's really good. Honestly, I feel like that's the fairest fight of them all. I feel like we'd fight, and then I feel like we'd become friends. So I'll put him there. This is Mighty Max. I don't know anything about this person. Literally, I just Googled uh, Max characters. This kid showed up. This spooked blonde kid with an M on his shirt. Apparently he fights spooky things, but I do that. I fight spooky things every day. So for example, my anxiety and my fear of dying. 
Uh, pretend that's the way. Yeah. Yeah. I'll put you in your place, Mighty Max. You go right there. I yell at you, and you go away. Because you look spooked as heck. And I've seen scarier things than you've ever seen. This is a f famous, the most famous James Bond villain, Max Zorin. He's played by Christopher Walken. And I asked my dad about him, and he says he doesn't remember him. Okay, let's just do the dogs. <sighs> okay, I have a... Look, I have a burdensome truth to put upon all of you. Every dog's name is Max. If you think your dog's name isn't Max, check again. Ask them. I promise you. Their name is Max. All dogs are named Max. And I should know because my name is Max. <laughs> Tell you what, before we do the dogs, uh, we're gonna do this guy. This is Max Capricorn. He is the main villain in the Doctor Who Christmas special, Voyage of the Damned. That's a fair fight because just like Headroom, he is a head in a box and I can just push him over real hard and he'll fall. Here's the thing is all of these dogs are gonna kick me in the heart so hard. Like, I can't fight a pack of dogs. We will not become friends. It will not be a fair fight. Uh, <laughs> I can't yell at all of them because my voice would get real tired. Maxwell Smart as played by uh, the guy I can't remember the name of and Steve Carell in the 2005 movie remake. And I think the whole gimmick about him is that he's dumb and he's a spy. I'm pretty sure that's the gimmick. All I remember from that movie is Steve Carell vomiting in a plane. I'm pretty sure that happens at the end of Get Smart. So uh, I think, I think I could be friends with a spy named Max. He's literally got my same name because my full name is Maxwell and his full name is Maxwell. And you know, if we became friends, that'd be smart. <laughs> this is Max Rebo. He is the front man of the Max Rebo band who plays at Jabba's palace at the beginning of Return of the Jedi. And he's like the coolest dude I've ever seen. He's gonna be like the entire category of we become friends. I don't care who tells me I can't be friends with him. I don't care if George Lucas himself burns the puppet that is Max Rebo and condemns me to a life without him. I don't care. He is my best friend. All right, folks. He is an unstoppable force, and I am unfortunately a movable object. This is Max from Where the Wild Things Are. This is actually where I get my name from. Uh, my parents named me Max after the kid in this book. I never got to go to the Where the Wild Things Are place, uh, and so I think that's a fair fight because uh, he is like six, and I am 20, but he's raised by monsters, and I am just 20. So there you go. <laughs> Maybe this isn't funny, but I like it. If I missed any Maxes doing this scale that you think you would like to see be put on the scale, um, you can contact me by lifting up a rock outside of your house, and there will be a tiny little cell phone. Um, and then if you put that up to your ear, you'll hear the sound of the ocean. Um, but if you put it up to your mouth, I can hear it.